Got original 1967 through 72. C10 Chevrolet pickup truck radio. It's original AM radio. We've uh, completely redone the case on it. It's got brand new chrome. Everything's been polished. And we've done a full Aurora design conversion in it. It now has a AM FM stereo, auxiliary in, which is automatic. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got a pre out on it if you want to add a sub. Uh, USB port. This is your harness you'll be getting with it. Uh, you can put it in a round hole or mount in that bracket. Comes with a thumb drive with music on it and the video. Uh, push button operated. You can operate it with the push button or with the knobs. I'll be demonstrating that. Bluetooth, hand free phone calls. It's got it all built in mic. You get an extra mic in case your truck's a little loud, you want to get it closer to you, but it does have a built in mic here. Uh, we didn't put any LEDs in there. This guy's keeping this truck pretty well original, except he wants to have some good music in there. So, no LEDs, all new chrome. It's going to look good. Right now, you're on FM. Presents and protects the rights of its music creator members. Treble and bass, like you've always had. Worldwide, including Sean Colvin, Aaron Lee Tash. You won't go to AM radio, just simply turn the unit off and right back on. That's AM radio. Back on, right back on FM. We got all the presets, everything working like it should. Original background light. This is this bill is presets like you've always had. Famously helped creep. Well, I've got some kind of warning going on. Maybe it's a test. They do that every now and then on this station. Set your presets up. Uh, this radio will also scan your stations and has voice ID, which is pretty neat. Uh, if you want to put it in the scanning mode, all you do is take the tuning knob and turn it up twice. Scanning for stations. I wonder what your senses of work. Now, it's going to scan for stations without for the needle moving. I'm going to show you how to lock on it. I'm going to actually show you how to even find that channel so you can preset and save it. Going to keep it going until the race is over. So here's the wonderful thing about the race. You and we'll, let we'll let it go one more. God is coming. God has told me to build the ark. I'm going to get in there with my One family. More. Will you come too? I wish you would. Uh, seem like it's good. So you like that station there? All you do is turn it one time. Station hold. Now, as soon as she says station hold, if you want to find out where it is, just start moving the needle. There it is. Pull it out. Preset it. You got it. Now you're on, you got an AM radio, we don't want to change the looks of it because that's what came in the truck. Uh, you want to know where you're at, you're on FM. We didn't put any LEDs in here. Take your volume knob and turn it up three times. One, two, three. Bluetooth ready to pair. That ain't the one I wanted. Here we go. One, two, three. FM 89.5. That's called voice ID. It'll tell you where you're at. It'll do it on AM and FM. All right, now we're going to do auxiliary in. Let me get my little device, which I broke over the weekend. Let's see if we can get her fired up here. All you do, you get a male to male cable that comes with it. All you do is just plug it in. You plug in your little device, whatever it is, satellite radio, CD changers, uh, Anything, your phone, whatever's got a, a head unit that puts out a sound, it will automatically change over. Battery. Well, we know the battery's low. How about that? Okay. So nice! So nice! Now you're on auxiliary in. Anytime you want to go back to radio, just take that device and turn it off. You don't even have to unplug it. I'm going to plug this because it's about dead. 
but you don't even have to unplug it. That's why you can do satellite radios, XM radios. In 20 seconds, the radio will automatically switch back to where we had it. If you want to go a little faster, you don't want 20 seconds of dead air, just turn it off and right back on. It remembers you was on FM. We're going to let it switch back. Already switched back. Now we're going to run our Bluetooth in. Bring our phone up, make sure we're on Bluetooth. There's two ways of doing it. Your little push button, you can hold it down. She'll come on, let her help us pair it up. Or we can do it with a volume knob like I done a while ago. Let's do it with a push button. Hold it down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on her phone. All we gotta do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. All right, and you notice your little buttons left. You can hide these underneath the uh, lip of the dash. I actually got one hid in a cigarette lighter. So all you gotta do is push the cigarette lighter, it works the button. That's some things that you can do to it. Now we wanna summons our phone up. We're gonna do a voice command. We can use the push button again by holding it down or we can use the volume knob. Let's try it, we're gonna do a voice command. Play music. Go on the music on my phone. Let's go here so we can watch it work. Now if I want to change my songs, you can advance your songs by pushing this once. Twice to back up a repeat. Or you can also use the tuning knob. Turn it up. Back. Back. You need even use the push button. As long as that needle's moving, you can advance your song. Phone call comes in no matter what the radio's doing, Bluetooth will override it. She'll say incoming call. All you do is you turn this up one time to answer the call or push this once, twice to end the call or back down to end the call. That's how your Bluetooth and all work. You can still work it by your phone, but it's designed so you do, do not have the phone in your hand. So let's go, let's do this. We're gonna go back to radio, hold it down. Stop music. Back to radio. That's how your Bluetooth and all work. Thumb drive. A lot of people hide these. This will also charge your phone, your devices, auxiliary in right here, and play a thumb drive. Stick it in, go straight to it. Same way, changing the music as you did on your phone. One time to advance. Turn it up. Back. Now, if you want to put that in pause, there's two ways of doing it. You can hold the push button down one second, put it in pause, go right back to radio. Back on radio. If you want to go back to it, one second on the push button, right back to thumb drive. Depends on how long you're down, whether it goes back to the same song or not. You can also do it with the volume knob. We went up twice to summons our phone up. Let's go down twice on it. Put it in pause, right back to radio. What took place on Down twice. Back to thumb drive. Now, while we're in there, I'm going to show you how to work your balance and your fader. Wide open treble, center, bass. Take it back to that center notch. Let's go into fader by going clockwise twice. And she's going to help you out. One, two. Fader adjust. As she says, as long as you're moving, you can fade from front to rear. When you find what you like, just stop. She'll set it. Fader set. Counterclockwise will be balance. One, two. Balance adjust. There's your right side, left side. 
balance it out, let her set it. Balance set. Now you're back on treble and bass. That's how that works, which is pretty cool. Now if we want to go back to radio, let's do it here, down twice, back to radio. That's your original 67 through 72 Chevrolet truck, C10, C20, C30, AM radio with a full roar design conversion. Thank you.